The Anthropores. What happened to wildlife when humans stood still? We are currently living through the Anthropocene, the period of the human, and there is no doubt that we are having a negative impact on the planet. No one could have anticipated what would happen during 2020 when the coronavirus pandemic caused confusion and devastation across the globe. In order to combat the virus, governments across the world enforced lockdowns and human life as we know it changed. We travelled less, worked from home and isolated ourselves from our normal day-to-day -day lives. This period has been labelled the Anthropause. This refers specifically to a considerable global slowing of modern human activities, notably travel. The beginning of the pause was met with great optimism as nature appeared to bounce back. There were stories of reported sightings of pumas in downtown Santiago, Chile. Many countries saw a rise in sea turtle numbers and jackals have been sighted in broad daylight in urban parks in Tel Aviv, Israel. Inevitably, fewer flights and reduced vehicle activity on the roads led to better air quality and reduction in CO2 emissions, and the world coming to a halt drastically reduced noise pollution. This optimism, however, was just one side of the story. As people struggled with poverty and there was less enforcement, the world witnessed an increase in poaching in Uganda and more use of the slash and burn technique used in Madagascar. Deforestation also accelerated throughout the Brazilian Amazon, as the Brazilian president largely ignored the pandemic in favour of economic gain. The Anthropause offered hope, and there was a call that we should never return to normal life, but instead work with nature and give it the respect it deserves in order to avoid future pandemics and slow down or reverse environmental destruction. After all, our survival depends on a healthy ecosystem. A few months after lockdown, this hope appears to be fading. Animals that bounce back have already been disturbed as humans once again roam freely. Beaches were left drowned in litter, animals that found new places to live were disturbed, and small gains by nature are in danger of being lost. Future generations will judge the actions we take today. These actions can be positive and drive real change or continue to destroy our only home, planet Earth. History will be our judge. The time to change and make a positive difference is now. We all have a part to play and the decisions we make each day have an impact on the planet. Whether this impact is negative or positive is down to us as individuals. <laughs>